What's going on everyone? Frank Robles again with the Strength Equals Show. So today we're going to be talking about doing push-ups with the D-Lift machine. I'm going to show you how to set it up. So stay tuned and watch the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And let's get strong together. Alright, as I said we're going to be doing push-ups with the D-Lift machine. That's what I call this thing here. So I'm going to show you how to set it up for the push-up version. Right now it's in a different way to do other exercises. We'll talk about that in another video. But I'm gonna show you how to set it up again for the push-up version. We're gonna take out the little rod here. Over here is the loading pin. We're gonna move the loading pin to the front of the machine. So now it's gonna be on this side. See, so I have a hole here on this side, so now we're going to run this so that it's pivoting over here. I think for most people, unless you're extremely small or tall, you're going to need the middle hole every time. This might be loud in the camera for a second. I want to make sure that it's pretty even, that it's not going to fall out. Now, using this side over here, this is an important step for your safety. Set that up in the middle hole over here so that it's underneath. Another step for the safety is you notice I have two 45 pound plates on this side just to kind of keep the weight so it doesn't counter lever this way and potentially hurt me. So once this weight is over here, it's not going anywhere. This right here, it's not absolutely needed, but if, if you have a partner, uh, you don't need it, but it's nice when you're by yourself, and you'll see why in, the, in a moment. Okay, so this is how you do your push-ups now. As you can see, the weight is gonna be here. This is the loading pin sitting on your back, okay? so. You find the position that you're comfortable with. What I mean is, I, I always find the center of this groove, which you can see right here with my head. That way you know you're centered with it. I put the, the apparatus as to where I feel comfortable with it, okay? I lift up, that's what this was for, and put that down. Okay, now I just get myself ready. Put yourself in the push-up position and just do a push-up. Okay, now let's say I fail. Something happens, I get tweaked. That's what I said this is here for. Because as you'll see, as I come down, let's say I get tired, I can't come up. That's it, now I won't be crushed. Okay, that's what this is here for. All right? I have these rubber mats here, just one for comfort on the hands. You don't need them, but they kind of give me a little bit more uh, gripping power and a little bit deeper down into the to the push-up. All right, so another thing you can do, if you do get stuck, you can just easily put your feet up, I mean your, your knees, and pull yourself back up. Again, that's what this is for. You kind of just lock it out, get out of the way, or for your next set, as you'll see. Okay, so today, my actual workout, what I'm working with, is going to be doing 50% of my 50, 60, 70% of my max loads. Today's not a max load day. It's more of a, I guess, call it an easier day, warm up for the next time. So we're going to start off, I'm going to do one more warm up weight, and then I'm going to go with 50%. Now I'm going to do two sets of five with 50% of that weight, which today is going to be 80 pounds on this thing, then 60%, which is a uh, 95 pounds that I have it written down and then 70% which is 110 pounds sitting on here all right so let's do our first warm-up I'm gonna go get a plate we're doing it outside today it's nice out and I'm taking advantage of the fresh air so I'm gonna go in the gym grab a 25 pound plate put it on here all right so here's my first warm-up with I actually do want to clarify I got 25 pounds on here but the actual total weight we had figured out with the arm 
and this pin actually has weight to it. The actual total weight pushing down on you without, without even this is already 30 pounds pushing down on you. So myself and other people who do the workout, we have put that into the formula. It's not necessary if you're doing this and you don't want to count it, you can just count the straight weight you're putting on here. You know, but we do count it, so technically this is 55 pounds, it's 25 plus 30 pounds of pressure pushing down on you. Or you can just keep the formula at 25 pounds. But anyways, alright, so I'm going to do my warm up. kind of get things moving um, I mean I love the movement just like a real push-up get to go through the motions there is no strain on the neck if it looks like it I, my head isn't holding any of the weight um, you're definitely working your whole body more than I'm not discrediting a push-up I mean I'm sorry uh, a bench press bench press is great exercise but I do think there's some major advantages for doing this, kind of get to move in your free, you know, your, sh your shoulder scapula is moving in more of in its free direction instead of being locked in with a bar. Um, you got, obviously you're working your posterior chain muscles, your core muscles, because you're stabilizing your body, obviously in that plank position, okay? And uh, I just feel like it's a better workout for me personally. So anyhow, Enough about that. So the next set I'm going to go to is going to be my actual first workout weight today. So 50% of my one rep max right now is 160, 160 pounds added to this. But I'm not working with that today, so I'm working with 50% of that. So I'm going to put 80 pounds on this. All right. So our first set, I'm going to do two, three sets of five of this. Sorry, three sets of five. So as I said. I got 50 pounds plus the apparatus itself is giving me another 30 pounds. So there's 80 pounds of pressure pushing down on me right now. I mean, it's 50%, still got some weight, but it's relatively on the lighter, easier side. But I treat it with full intensity. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but as I'm popping up, I'm trying to actually get a pop off my off of the, my, my back. I'm coming up with that kind of uh, velocity, okay, that kind of power. Again, as we discussed in some of our other videos, trying to develop that power. Obviously, as the weight goes up, that's not going to happen, but I'm trying to create that, okay? Uh, I'm also trying to keep every rep the same. I bring my nose to touch the mat, okay? Uh, so that's my trying to keep every rep the same. More control on the way down. You know, don't just come falling down. I do control it, so if there's any moment in the, in the rep that I'm controlling, I mean, I'm always in control of the way you want to be, as we discussed. You don't want to be too crazy. But going down is more of the control, okay? And then, boom, snapping up. All right. So, try not to rest too much in between, you know, maybe 30 seconds or maybe even, I'm sorry, maybe longer than that, maybe like a minute, minute and a half. Again, they're, they're relatively lighter weights. As, it, as I get up to the 70%, it starts to get a little heavier, obviously. Okay, next set. definitely feel it. So I had to get a good workout with it, with that weight. Uh, I was reading somewhere and it's actually pretty accurate. When you do a push-up, you're doing anywhere between 64 to 68 percent, I believe it was, of your body weight. So I weigh 220, 
223 right now. So I don't know what that math is right now. Uh, I think I remember being like 157, whatever. It was right around there, but you could check it out. And it was pretty accurate. When I put my hands on a scale, it was pretty close to what they're saying, that 64 to 67% range. So it kind of gives you an idea of what you're doing if you want to try to, th not that I, again, think that this equivalates or equals, I don't know if that's a word, to a bench press. But I guess it's kind of fun numbers. So, you know, when I did the 150, 150 pounds on this, and it was right around one, let's call it 160 of my body weight that I'm pushing up. So what is that? That's 310 pounds of a one rep max. I haven't checked to see if that actually equals a 310 pound uh, bench press. It's a different movement, of course. I'm not disrespecting that movement. It's a different movement. But I think you would have the raw strength and the capability of doing it. It's gotta be somewhere in that same range. It means a lot of the same movements. But like I said earlier, some of these movements are a little bit harder, okay? Anyways, just to kind of throw that out there. All right, next, next set of this, last set of this plate. five excuse me so the whole time like I said it's relatively on the lighter side still working the muscles but if I mean being honest I could probably maybe bang out 15 of those or say you know maybe start to get tired right around then but I'm not trying to work my body right now too hard to failure or push the limits this is more just like a weekly warm-up for the next workout which is my the heavy one where it's gonna be more of the intense workout Okay, so the next weight we're going to, I believe it's 110. Oh, you got this? A bird just crapped on me. So, some of the cons of working out outside. Alright, so let's get rid of this. So, I was wrong, I said 110. That's going to be our last weight. This is 95 pounds, so 15 more pounds to where we just started. So, I'm going to be doing two sets of three with this. All right, so let's do our first set here. All right. All right. So sometimes people ask me, they're like, Frank, was that heavy? Or you set up like it's heavy. Like, you know, I get in there, I get a little intense, the face, the eyes open up, I get a little of the breathing, get ready. And I do that for a couple of reasons. It was one, I guess out of habit. That's just my trigger to like tell myself, all right, it's game time. And I don't disrespect any weight that's on here. Um, again, even if it's lighter weight, I treat it like it's heavy just to kind of keep my form in that case in the same way. My mind is in that same mentality. And again, respect the weight. It's still weight that could hurt you if you're not taking it serious, okay? So I take every weight serious. Even my warm-ups, I have my game face on. So when you're working out, you gotta have your game face, okay? Uh, that's why it's kinda hard, I do admit, it's kinda hard to be working out and doing videos sometimes. You know, it's nice that now I have a cameraman to kinda help out with that, but at times it's still even harder, you know, because you're trying to concentrate on two things. So, anyways, when you're lifting, as I said before, concentration is the key, okay? And some lifts just require more concentration than others, um, as we discussed about the stone lifting. So stone lifting is, you gotta be, boom, on top of it, but you should be on top of it for every lift. All right, so I got one more set of this, two sets of three with the 95 pounds. Set to three. 
it's nice as you see these progressions even on these lighter days because this is 95 pounds this used to be my one rep max as I started to do this exercise this was a newer exercise that I started maybe relatively recent a year ago maybe six months um, but really getting into it anyways um, the 95 pounds was my one rep max 105 pounds obviously I'm up to 160 now um, but it's nice to now be like, oh, this is kind of like my light day now, you know? So you see even all that starts to progress because eventually even when I, I get to 200 pounds, 160 will be a lighter day. So the light days are light days, but they also go up. You know, they progress with you. So, all right, the next set we're gonna do is one set of one rep with 110 pounds. 105, 110. All right, so just to go over the weight system again, we have 30 pounds, again, from the apparatus, 50 pounds, 225, so there's 80. Then we have 90, 95, 100, that's a five pounder, and then the 10 pounder, 110 pounds. All right, so this will be it for the push up today. So it's, this is starts to get a little heavier where you gotta like think about, again, I, I treat everyone the same, but take it serious. All right. Nice, that felt really good. All right. Definitely was on the light side, probably bang out five. But again, it's a lighter day, but this is building confidence for when I do the next workout, the next training workout, the next training day, which is the more intense workout, trying to actually beat more numbers. So this is just a mental break to some extent, this workout. So you're not in the gym like, oh man, I gotta beat these numbers. Because if anybody who does that regularly, you will know, that's stressful, you know? Uh, so this is more of a mental break, and obviously it's a physical break, but it's still keeping the body in motion, keeping the brain in motion, in the sense of you're focusing on the next workout. It's kind of like a warm-up, and letting you feel like, oh man, I am getting stronger. Again, as I highlighted, 110 used to be, again, my one rep max. Now it's my 70%, and that felt really good, you know? So anyways, that helps, again, for the next workout. It's all, it's all a game to some extent. Just keeping that mind focused, okay? And relax at times too you need that all right so that's it for the push-ups as you saw again it's on the d-lift machine this is a machine that i've created um, had someone make up for me anybody who's interested in this thing you can email me uh, we will leave that in the link and we can get you one if you want one they are made to order uh, not only does it do this exercise i do have some other videos on uh that show things that you can do with this but we're going to be posting more on this format or on this channel on the different exercises you can do with the d-lift machine and i'll even get into another time why we call it that anyways uh, this is the push-ups on the d-lift machine this right here is probably it's if this is all you did with it it's worth having this you know because doing a weighted push-up i don't know how to do it without it being too cumbersome you know you can have somebody laying on you you could have a sandbag on you a backpack but all that or even a weighted vest but all that has its uh, definite pros I mean I'm sorry definite cons it starts to become cumbersome uh, this one really I'm not saying doesn't have any cons I'm sure that somebody will figure something out but for the most part this has been awesome okay like I said 110 pounds it has not been easy to put 110 pounds in a uh, backpack and work with that it starts to shift everywhere it's just a pain uh, so this gives you that capability of now doing a weighted push-up. All right, so again, it's a great machine for doing this great exercise. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on how to do the push-ups on the D-Lift machine. So if you like more of this stuff, again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because we're going to be doing more, as I said, videos on not only the d-lift machine of course 
on but other things that we've discussed stone lifting diys on sandbags all of these things so again don't forget to like and subscribe and stay strong in the meantime